Morning guys, this is page 18 and 19 of the at home packet. Today we are going to work on finding the slope of a line. So we're gonna go over number one and four and the rest of pages 18 and 19 are your assignment for the day. So let's look at number one, we are given a table. Our table is seconds and feet. Seconds is going to be X and feet will be Y. Given a table to find the slope, there is two ways to do it. You can do your change in the Y value over your change in the X value, or you can use the formula Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. I'll show you both ways and then you can just use whichever you prefer. Change in Y over change in X. We're going from one point to the next. Our change in Y, we're going from zero to 30, so our change in Y is plus 30. Let's look at X. We're going from zero to five. Our change is five. The formula is just change in Y over change in X. Our change in Y is 30. Our change in X is five. 30 over five is the same thing as 30 divided by five and 30 divided by five is six. So our slope for number one is six. Um, another way that you can do it is using the formula Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. To use this formula, you need two points. So let's use the points 0, 0, and 5, 30. Label your points x1, y1, x2, y2, and plug them into the formula. y2 minus y1, 30 minus 0, over x2 minus x1, 5 minus 0. 30 minus 0 is 30. 5 minus 0 is 5. 30 divided by 5 is 6. So we got two, we got 6 for our slope, two different ways. The other part of this question is to state what the slope represents. Remember the slope, slope is per unit. So in this problem, we have feet per second. Key words for slope are per and each. So let's say this for this one, we have 6 feet per second. All right, the other one that we are going to do is number four. Number one is similar to number two, and then the rest of these worksheets will be similar to number four. Number four, we are dealing with a graph. When you are given a graph and you are trying to find the slope, we are going to count our rise over our run. The thing to be careful with is how our axes are labeled. So if you number notice in number four, we're going by 0.5. You're going to try and find a point directly on the line. So one of the points that I see on the graph is y is five comma two. So to get to this point, this point is directly on the line. We are going to rise two and run five. We went up two, which was positive, and we ran five, which was positive. So our slope is our rise number, which is two, over our run number, which is five. Going up is positive. Going to the right is positive. So our slope for number four is two over five. That is the pounds per bag. So when it asks to state what the slope represents for number four, it is the pounds per bag. Keywords like each and per will give away what the slope is. So again, the rest of this page is 18 and 19 is your assignment. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.